So if you're not aware yet, there's a bunch of pictures right now surfering the whole internet on the 2022 Lowrider S. No, that's not a 2022. That's my 2020 Lowrider S right here. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff on there that I noticed right off the bat, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. And I think there might be a lot more additions coming to that as well. So with that being said, let's roll the intro and let's get into it. the video guys all right so let's just get right into it let's dive into it the 2022 lowrider s but this is a double decker man i just finished posting a video earlier and now we're we're posting this one here right now because i'm excited about this and i'm like what 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 the number one thing that should have happened on this bike <sighs> since the release in 2020 <sighs> look at this picture right here what do you see boom a 117 this is the engine that this bike should have had from the beginning 2020 should have came out with the 117 engine in it why because the 2016 2017 had the 110 in it which at the time was the cvo um which right now the cvo engine is a 117 so this being the lowrider s it should have came with the 117 i'm still a little upset about that two years later i'm still like grinding my teeth about that because it should have been a 117 right but what we see in this picture is that it is a 117 now another thing that i noticed is also the tachometer on top the analog is now on top right above that little fairing that you see right there really cool um one of the things that i, I kind of at times i kind of want to relocate my gauges on top because of that because it kind of constantly gotta look down a bit doesn't bother me that much but it would be a lot more easier if they're on top i relocated that on my road glide and i love it absolutely amazing different feel different view it's just boom right there in your face so we see the relocated gauge on top i don't know if it's two from the looks of it it's just only one right there we might still have one in the tank one on top but i don't know from the looks of it the tank looks real flush going down the middle right there so i highly doubt there's going to be another gauge there so there might be two gauges on top or there might be just one main one with it might be a digital gauge or everything might be in that one gauge now that could be it as well who knows so the two main things obviously stick out is the 117 the gauge relocating on top and now also next to that gauge well right underneath that gauge you see a higher riser lift right there so those risers look like they're about six inches from factory the original one comes with four inches so that one definitely looks like it's about as a six inch rise height on there uh with the gauge located on top it, it looks really cool now i was on the website earlier i was doing a video showing you guys all the brand new colors for 2022 and then i went to cruisers and i went to look for my low rider s and it wasn't there obviously so where is my lowrider ass? Harley, you're playing games with me. You're, you're playing games with all of us right now because he made these little changes. And I think you guys are waiting for the special day towards the end of the month when we're gonna see all these special cool bikes. And you might, you're gonna add this bike to, hey, this is our brand new bike. One of the hundred new bikes that we're making for the next five years or 10 years or whatever it is. Um, if it's gonna be a new bike, these are just add-ons. So yes, they're cool, but it's gonna be a lot of pissed off customers and pissed off people if all it is is just a 117 with the gauge relocating. Yes, these are awesome, amazing stuff that you guys have added, but me, a customer who got this bike two years ago, I'm like, hmm, dude, like these little changes mean a lot. So it, uh, it could be upsetting. Hold that thought though. Now that could just be maybe the base option where if you do want a low rider S base, you get it like that. But I think, and I'm gonna go back to my previous videos, which I made a few videos. I'm gonna be linking one at the end so you guys can take a look at that. So you can hear all my um all my thoughts on it. But I think there's gonna be a low rider S with a FXRT, FXRP fairing, new redesign on it, with some bags in the back. It's gonna be like a like a sport touring model type of bike 
So we might see two options. That would be pretty cool because it's not like, all right, well, we still got the base model just like this one. No, we're going to give this 117. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. That's the base one. But if you want to spend a little more cash on it, then you get the, the one with the, the fairing and everything. And it comes with the 17. It comes with the fairing. It comes with all the bells and whistles. So that might be like another $3,000 on top of that price. Three to four thousand dollars, maybe. I don't know. I'm just throwing numbers. I I I don't know. I don't got the inside school, but these are just pictures that are surfacing the web right now. Take a look at them. I want to I want to know your thoughts. I want to know everything down below. Drop your thoughts. Drop your comments down below. What do you guys think? Or will these be the actual pictures? Right when this bike came out, the pictures were surfing for like about a day or two, and then boom, they posted it up on the website. So I mean, we see these pictures today. Will it go up tonight? Will it go up tomorrow? Will it go up Monday? I don't know. Um, but I'm super excited about this. It's pretty cool, pretty cool news. Um, yeah, my, my 114, man. Should have been a 117. That's gonna be it, guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's gonna notify you, yes, you, anytime I upload any type of content like this. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.